This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. Problem number 25 from the AMT 10B, which was also problem number 23 on the 12B. Let XO, X1, X2 be a sequence of numbers where each XK is either 0 or 1. For each positive integer n, we define the sum Sn equals x to the power of xk times 2 to the power of k uh, for k equals 0 to n minus 1. So we're given that 7 times the sum s of n is congruent to 1 mod 2 to the power of n. For all n is greater than or equal to 1. What is the value of this sum? Okay, first of all, looking at the sum, I noticed that each respective value of x is multiplied by 2. Perhaps that could help us. And in fact, that actually does end up helping us. So let's try to evaluate S of 2023 and then S of 2019. So if we do that, scrolling down, we get that from the definition, this is the first sum. From the definition, this is the second sum. And a lot of the stuff factors out. We can actually factor out 2 to the power of 2019. And then the xk's would cancel out. And this would give us 2 to the power of 2019 times x2019 plus 2x2020 plus 4x2021 plus 8x2022. Now this part right here, we already know that this is equal to what we're trying to find. So we can say that what we're trying to find is actually S2023 minus S2019 over 2019. We can find this, we've solved the problem. Okay. So now we know that 7S n is equal to 1 mod 2 to the power of n. So applying this for n equals 2023, 20, we know that 7 times S2023 equals 2 to the power of 2023 20, plus or times y plus 1, since it's 1 mod that, if you were to take this mod 2 to the power of 2023, 20, this right hand side would just be 1. And then same thing for S of 2019. Okay, so now that we have this, we have two expressions for S 2023 and S 2019, because we can take this and divide both sides by 7. Now if we were to take the difference between them, as 2023 minus as 2019, that's going to give us 2 to the power of 2019 times 16y minus x over 7. Because remember, this is, we can write 2 to the power of 2023 as 2 to the power of 2019 times 2 to the power of 4y plus 1. Okay, well, we have this, but there's not really any much farther that we can go than this using this approach except we are given that if this is the case what is the maximum value of s of n well we know that each we're given that each xk is either zero or one so the maximum would be when each of the xk is one so then the maximum value of this is two to the power of n minus one and once we have this well, now we can set some bounds on y and x. This equation right here, well, y can't be any y can be anywhere from zero to six. So zero is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to six. Because if y is seven, well then this right hand side that's not going to follow this rule right here. Same thing with this. X is greater than or is less than or equal to six and greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so then what do we do from here? Well, there's not too many choices that we need to try for y and x now. We can just try different values of y and see what happens. Uh, if y is 0, 1, or 2, then this right here, this is going to make it so that x must be negative. But if we look back at the answer choices, that cannot happen. What if y is 3? If y is 3, then we have 2 to the power of 2019. So now that doesn't matter. We just need 16y minus x to be divisible by 7. So 16y minus x, that's going to give us 48 minus x over 7. And this is going to be an integer. So this is going to give us that x equals 6. Okay. So now 
going back into the original case, what are we asked for? Well, we're asked for the value of X that works, that, that would satisfy this problem conditions, right? So if we go back, we're trying to solve this right here. So if in this case, we have that Y equals three and X equals six, this would evaluate to 48 minus six, so 42 over seven equals six. Okay, well, what if this is four? If it's four, then X must be one, because then we have 64 minus one over seven equals nine. Okay, uh, what else can we have? Well, going back up, or setting Y equals five, we have 80 minus three over seven gives us 11. And then what if we have six? Then we have 96 minus X over seven. So X must be five. 96 minus five is 91 over seven is 13. So we either have six, nine, 11, or 13. But looking back at the answer choices, 9, 11, or 13 are not answer choices. So the only solution that we have available to us is A. So that must be our answer. And with that, we're done with the problem. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. For more amazing content, you can check out thepuzzler.com.